Hey guys, welcome back to the Steel Forum. This video is for all you Excel users out there. I know there are a lot of people out there who just love to use Excel for all kinds of things. One of the biggest problems with using Excel is dealing with those feet and inches. I'm gonna show you a quick, easy way to handle that so that you can use all those formulas, get all the results that you need and not go crazy. <coughs> all right, so let's start off with a blank cell. We wanna make sure that this column is formatted to be text. If you don't format this as text, when you put your your foot dashes in there, it's going to start to interpret that as a date. You don't want that. You want it to always interpret it as text. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put in, let's say, a length of 12 foot, 5 and 7 eighths. Okay. All right. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to press on name manager. This is in the formulas tab of Excel. The reason you have to do this is that the function we're going to use is actually a semi-function, which means you can't type it directly into a cell. you got to do a little bit more goblet. Okay. It's pretty simple, though. Follow along. I promise you can handle this. All right. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the name manager. You're going to press that. You're going to press new. I like to name mine foot inch. It's pretty clear what it does. You can type out your comment there if you want them to know. Okay. Then you come down here. Quick tip. Don't press your arrow keys to navigate in here. Instead of navigating between in this field, what it's going to do is it's going to move you around in Excel and it's going to insert stuff into this spot for you. You don't want it to do that. Okay. You're going to go ahead and click on A1. You're going to delete all of this and you're going to delete the two dollar signs. Now, I'm going to paste this exact line of text into the, the uh, description of this video, so you can just copy and paste it, but I want to explain it to you so you know what's going on, okay? So, we're gonna go to the beginning of this, we're gonna say equals evaluate, and then an open parenthesis and the word substitute, and another parenthesis, and we're gonna go to the end of where it says sheet one A1, we're gonna say comma, and we're gonna do quote dash quote, okay? And another comma, and then quote, asterisk 12 plus, and then quote. And then we're gonna close our parentheses and close our parentheses again. And we're gonna say okay. And you can see now this is for inch. This is all correct. Okay, and we'll say close. And when we go here, equals the inch, you'll see that it spits out the decimal equivalent of what you've put here. Okay, so that's how it works. Uh, that's, that's the simple version. That's what you have to do to make it work. If you want to stick around, I'll explain more about what's going on here. Okay, so what this is actually doing is it's going into this cell and it's evaluating what we've written in here as text as if it were a formula. So it's looking at this and it's saying, okay, 12, and then the part we replaced that substitute function is saying, okay, don't look at that as dash. Look at that as times 12 plus. So it's going to say 12 times 12 plus 5 plus 7 eighths. And then it's going to evaluate this whole cell as if it were a formula. It's simple. It's quick to replace. Once you've written it in a spreadsheet, you can use it all over the place. Super easy. You can copy this down and paste it. So if we had a whole bunch of these values, six foot four and nine nine sixteenths. If we wrote it a little bit differently, six foot five, and we used a space instead. If we use twelve foot nine and one thirty-four or one forty-eight. Eh. You see that it gets that right every single time. It, it just works. So I hope this has been helpful to you. I know there are a lot more complicated ways that you could do this. This is the one that I like. If you've got a, what you think is a better way, let me know down in those comments or drop me an email, nick at unitedstructuralllc.com. And we'll see you back here again on Steel Forum.